Hi, my name is Carrie Bluen, and I'm a Labor Relations Consultant in Human Resources. I'm also one of the instructors for Supervisor 101, setting performance expectations and evaluating performance. At the beginning of the review period, supervisors set the expectations that they want to see their employees do over the course of the year. Throughout the year, they monitor performance and they give feedback, both positive and constructive, as well as they provide coaching to help the employees grow. When you're giving the feedback and coaching, it's important that you keep notes so when you do the performance evaluation at the end of the year, you have something to refer back to, rather than just trying to think off the top of your head what did the employee do throughout the year. At the end of the year, at the end of the review cycle, it's your chance to give that formal feedback to the employee on how they did. And we do that on the five-point rating scale. A rating of meets expectations is what you give to an employee that's done just that. They've met the expectations you set out for them at the beginning of the year. And that's a, good, that's a good job. That means that the employee's done a good job. They've done exactly what you've asked them to do. If they've exceeded expectations in all or some of the responsibility areas, you'd rate them accordingly. Conversely, if they have not met expectations, you'd rate them as partially meeting expectations or not meeting expectations. If you rate an employee at below meeting expectations, it's a good idea to talk to your labor relations consultant to help guide you through the performance management process. Remember, nothing at the end of the year should come as a surprise to the employee when they're getting their performance evaluation done. Now when we do the course, quite often managers say, you know, I'm busy, why bother doing this, it's the extra paperwork, what's the point? I'm going to tell you what the point is. For employees, it makes it, once they have their job expectations clear and they know what's expected of them, they tend to live up to those expectations and they do a good job. It also increases their engagement and they want to come to work and do that good job. As managers, it helps you with that consistency because you're evaluating all employees who are doing the same job consistent. If you have employees showing up and they're doing a good job, it increases their engagement, it decreases turnover, decreases sick time, and at the end of the day, you have a performance where the culture is optimized, thus providing the best value to our taxpayers.